Welcome to Life Speakers Radio Show, a show that will encourage, give hope, and speak life to inspire and motivate those who want to refresh their passion for life and live it to the fullest. Feel free to tune in and listen to the inspired words from Life Speakers Sharon Dotson and Wayne I. Dotson, who speaks life the way God gives to them, and the guests that will assist and help bringing hope, motivation, and encouragement to you along life's journey to understand that everything will work out for your good to help you survive and thrive the test of life that may come your way to walk in destiny and purpose. Hello, hello, hello. We are back. Live Speakers Radio Show with Sharon Dyson and Wayne I. Dyson. <laughs> we are here to speak some life to you today, to give you a pick me up like never before, because God said we believe it and that settles it. We are here to enhance you, to make you feel like you can do anything, because that's what God is all about. Radio World, we are so excited today to have a special, special guest. But before I do that, Wayne, how you doing today? What's up, Mom? I'm good. How you is? I'm doing great. Ready to do this thing. Oh, yes, ma'am. Let's do it. Let's have some fun. Speak some life and some positivity around the world. Yes! <laughs> Well, without further ado, Radio World, we have an awesome guest today. Uh, she's an LPC, licensed therapist, mental health therapist. She has so much to say and do because I've heard her in action before. And, you know, God has really blessed her because she speaks so much life as she speaks to so many people. Her patience, her dedication, her determination has been a blessing to those who have watched her because I'm one of the ones that have watched her to see her, her humility, her strength, you know, um, but I love her spirit. And I thank God that she was able to be on the show today. Without further ado, we're going to welcome to you, Miss Rakita Jackson. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to be here this morning. I'm so glad you're here. I have been like on oh, pins and needles all week. Like, awesome. Oh my God, it's coming up, it's coming up, it's coming up. So um, I'm just, I'm so glad to be here. Um, you know, just a little bit to elaborate please, about myself. Please. Um, again, thank you guys for the invite. Um, my name is Rakita Jackson. I am a licensed professional counselor. Um, I practice out of Birmingham, Alabama. Um, I am also uh, certified in grief as well as anger management. Wow. Um, I've got over 20, 23 years experience in the wow. counseling field. Wow. And I work with everything from children, families, to um, incarcerated individuals who are returning back into the community, wow. trying to help them get their lives back together. Amazing. Um, with addictions, yes. um, substance use disorder. So you name it, I've done it before. <laughs> Been there, done that, got a couple of t-shirts, maybe even a couple of war ones behind it, but God is. God is, yes. God is amazing. <laughs> he's amazing and he's using you. And uh, we are so thankful to have you to come on and uh, speak today to the radio world and to tell us how you speak life to the people who you serve. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Let me tell you, Lady. So, you know, I remember when I used to be over a drug and alcohol program in Phoenix City, Alabama, one of the things that a lot of the groups would say, you know, sometimes, Ms. Jackson, you just got to fake it to make it. You just got to fake it to make it. Uh -huh. And I was like, no, nah, we got to flip that thing. That's right. So my motto now is you got to be real to heal. Be real to heal. I remember you saying that at the conference, uh, uh, one of the, um, what is the conference now with Apostle? Um, the, the Shift Conference. Shift conference. Yes. You said that one time. Yes. I was like, that's awesome. Yes. Awesome. Got to be real to heal. You got to be real to heal. And, you know, when it comes to your mind, your body, your spirit, your soul, you have to be real with to yourself real. if you want to get to a place of healing, if you want to get to a place of freedom, if you want to get to a place of victory. Yes. You've got to be real with Gotta yourself real. so that you can get to that place of yes. healing. Yes. And so one of the things that I tell 
my peoples because I don't have patience. You know, I don't have people. clients. I love that. I, have I love people. that. Like, I, love I work that. with people. I, I work with that. God's people. I love that. And so, you know, the thing that I stand and hold firmly about is be careful what you tell Rakita. Because mm. what you tell Rakita is going to be the areas that I push. Mm. Mm -mm. And the thing is, I'm just mm. trying to push you into your purpose. That's but good. I always do it with humility. Yes. Because one of the things that I also do, I don't ever challenge a person in an area that I have not been challenged myself. Yes, yes. So the way I approach it, I meet people where the rubber meets the road. Wow. If, if you <laughs> in the back alley, I'm going to meet you there. But I promise you, I'm going to pull you to the intersection. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and, and that's, that's just how I operate. That's good. That's good. Um, because, you know, for a lot of people, you know, especially in the, the field that I work in, because like currently I work in a correctional setting uh -huh. in mm -hmm. Birmingham, Alabama. Okay. And people always say, oh, how do you work in that type of setting? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you know, we're all one situation That's from, right. from being, from in being that there. That's right. And, you know, yeah. and as a, as a mother mm -hmm. of a son, you know, I tell yes. people all the time, yes. my prayer is that I saw enough seeds into the lives of the oh inmates that I serve. Goodness. That God forbid if anything ever oh, happens to my child, yes, that Lord. it covers my seed. That's good. Cover my seed. And that's so, right. you that's know, right. that's just how I operate. Yes. And the thing is just educating people yes. on mental health, mm -hmm. on mental illness, mm -hmm. on substance use disorders, yes. because what people fail to realize is mm -hmm. it may not be at your doorstep today, but, but one day, one day, one day it might just say it. It hello. Hello. <laughs> I'm, and, and for real, we don't even want to answer it sometimes, right. but sometimes you just hey, got to answer it. Force uh -huh. answer it at times. And the thing Very is, good. be ready when it comes. Mm -hmm. You know, yes. one of the things that I attempt to do when I go out and speak and, and encourage people is just try to break the stigma related yes. to mental illness. Right. Because what people fail to realize is that mental illness is a chronic disease. Yes. Just yes. like any other chronic it really illness. really is. And the it thing really is, is, if you think about it, and I say this all the time, mm. your mind is like the motor in your car, mm. the motherboard in your computer. Right. And yes. if anything glitches in it, it's going to mess up it's the whole thing. It's going to mess up the whole lump. So why not, why not start yes. Yes. early yeah. when, when that check engine light first comes on? <laughs> check it on, out. Go on and check this thing out. <laughs> Okay. Wayne, what you think about uh, Miss Rakita and this uh, life speaking that she speaks about uh, being real to heal, <laughs> being real to heal? What you think about that, Wayne? Yes, ma'am, mom. That is amazing, Miss Rakita. What you doing for the whole uh, city, of Alabama, for the whole world, changing the lives <laughs> yes. and the whole everybody in mental in a mental state who just people with bipolar disorder schizophrenia yeah. people with depression especially yes. mm -hmm. like it's just sad everybody who's on that borderline level of a bad mental state mm -hmm. you do whatever you can to encourage them yes. and also let them know and take them just change them mm -hmm. change the world by changing their lives yeah turning that negative into a positive Yes. Putting them on the road to destiny and purpose is what she does. Yes, ma'am, of course. That enlightens them, helps them, and helps them to find their way. Because what the enemy meant for bad, God will turn it around for the good through people like us. Through people who are willing to go beyond the call of duty to make things happen in the lives of the people that we serve. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Because I know, you know, one of the saddest things for me, mm -hmm. you know, there is a major crisis going on in the country when it yes. comes to I'm with it. mental mm -hmm. health. Yes. Um, resources are limited, mm -hmm. but when I say the need is plentiful, yes. Yes. Um, yes, and the unfortunate part of it is sometimes people don't know where to go. Sometimes people may know where to go. Mm -hmm. But they don't go because right. they're embarrassed. Yes. You know, because yes. the stigma of it. The stigma related yes. to it. And a lot of times, mm -hmm. well, it ain't even a lot of times, the majority of the times, yeah. we put the stigma on it by the words that we, we say. Speak. That's right. Because what we fail to realize mm -hmm. is sometimes, all the time, when you speak <laughs> negatively on people, That's right. That's right. that sticks. That's right. And so we have to be careful. Yeah. 
what the words that we speak on others, right? The words that we speak life. Speak life. So let's, <laughs> let's learn to speak, speak life, life into <laughs> mental health yes. and stop killing people yes. with our words and preventing them from getting the help yes. that they need for their mental illnesses yes. or for their substance use disorders. Awesome. Let's speak life yes. into the people so that they will go out and get the help that they need yes. because the thing that we're seeing is People are afraid to go get the help because mm -hmm. they're afraid of being judged. Yes. Um, they're so afraid true. of being stigmatized. Right. And so what happens is it, it keeps going and going mm -hmm. and going mm -hmm. to the point of no return. Mm -hmm. And then they start getting in trouble with the, the law. Yeah. Law and enforcement. Yes. yes. And what happens, like right now, like I said, I work in a, in a county jail. Yes. And over 40 percent mm -hmm. of the individuals who are incarcerated wow. has a mental illness of some sort mm -hmm. and so it's almost as if society is turning mental illness into a into a criminal act yes. and it's not but the thing is because we are so afraid of getting the help that we need mm -hmm. or even speaking up and saying right. you know there's right. something going on yes. it goes on to the point and then because of the untreated mental illness yes. sometimes not all the time yeah. but because of the untreated mental illness sometimes an individual does get caught up in situations yes. where there are crimes committed That's right. but mm -hmm. you know I want to say to everybody mm -hmm. mental illness is not a, cri a criminal act it is an illness. And so what I would hope to get across to everybody is to encourage you mm -hmm. to speak up. Mm -hmm. You know, stop being embarrassed if you have something going on that is affecting you mentally, emotionally, mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. you know, spiritually. Because, you know, I tell people all the time, mm -hmm. if you had, if you went to the doctor and they said, you know, sorry, but, you know, you have hypertension. Okay, well, give me the medicine I need. Mm -hmm. You don't walk around and be like, oh, they said I got, I got high blood pressure. <laughs> I'm shocked. That's right. That's right. So what's the difference if you go to the doctor and he may say, you know, you got depression, but we could, or you have bipolar, or even right. you have schizophrenia. That's right. The That's thing right. is, these are things, people live productive lives That's every right. day. Treat it. Every treat day. It. That's right. With mental illness. That's right. Because they respect. They respect the disease. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I tell people all the time, if you have respect to, for something, yes. you don't have to re react to it. And, right. and the difference That's is good. knowing That's the good. difference between responding, which is being responsible yes. for it so that you can respond to it before it gets out of hand versus trying to ignore it. And then you got to react. You got to try to do something right. quick. quick. And so mm -hmm. it's about knowing. Mm -hmm. It's about speaking up. It's about speaking out and come from behind the shadows. Yes. Um, you know... And and that's that's where my passion lies. Mm -hmm. That that's that's where it goes because mm -hmm. you know I tell people all the time we're all one situation <laughs> from being in some type of emotional yeah. or mental yes. crisis. Crisis. And so the thing is just allowing yourself, mm -hmm. giving yourself enough grace that's right. That's right. to say there's something going on. Yeah. I don't know what that is, but help me figure it out. Help so it me. Fixed. Help me. Yes. yes that's amazing. Thank you so much. This is so good. This is so good. Um, right now, we're going to take a break. And we'll come right back with Miss Rakita to do some more speaking life. Um, we're going to have a song that talks about um, speak life to it. Hope you like it. Thank you. 
Yes, yes, yes. Speak life. And that's what Rakita is doing today. She's speaking life to the situations and circumstances that have kept us complacent at a standstill, not knowing what to do, not knowing who to talk to. Today, you will get some answers or you've gotten some answers. And there is so much more that she has to say. And, you know, we just thank her for coming again, you know, to speak some life into the mental industry, the mental health, because it's so much needed. You know, today we've got to get our minds right and the rest will follow. <laughs> you said a mouthful right there. Jesse. Hey, you supposed to life right there. It's the truth. You were real about that. All right, thank you, girl. Thank you, girl. Because <laughs> you get this right. Everything else gonna flow appropriately. Hey, hey, hey. Okay. Everything else will flow appropriately. <laughs> what you think about that, Wayne? What you think about that, Wayne? Get your mind right and the rest will follow. Oh, yes, Mom. That is amazing. <laughs> like, get your mind and fix yourself up. Also, do some self-care to yourself yes. and make sure you take care of yourself wisely. And like what you said, Miss Rokita, like, with telling people all uh, everything what's going on with you, I mean, you can tell certain people, but you tell not everybody because, you know, especially when I mentioned depression, it's like real, real out here. And then, like, speaking negative, that negativity, that bad vibes, it's just too much. And you can't deflect people with that bad vibe. You can't try to spread that on people because that's just rubbing the wrong way. You got to be careful, especially with people dealing with depression. You don't know how they may take it. And don't be crossing people and doing wrong to them, too much wrong. That's right. Because right. that, that can kill them in a way. So you don't know what they're going through. You got to be have a heart and be sensitive and try to take matters into your own hands and do whatever you can to build them up, not tear them down. That's right. right. Thank right. you so much, Wayne. That's so true, so true, so true, Wayne ID. <laughs> you know, he just yes. made a, a Bible, he made a Bible statement. Mm. He said, you have to have a heart. You know, yes. I tell people all the time, if you work in any field that's related to service, yes. you got to have a heart for people. Because I promise you, it ain't a get get rich quick feel mm -mm. Mm -mm. at all that's right so yeah. you have to have a heart yeah. for people yeah. and a heart to serve. to serve and the thing mm -hmm. is knowing that you go in to serve to meet people's needs yes. to change people's lives mm -hmm. to like you said to speak life into yes. them yes. you know just just a, a few stats okay. um okay. They say one in five U.S. adults mm. experience some type of mental illness each year. Yes. And so if you think about that, right now we're in a space and it's four of us. Yeah. <laughs> so at least one uh -huh, uh -huh. in this four has. has experienced That's something. Right. That's so right. to be transparent. I experienced. I, 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 so, so right now we took. Well, we're real. So, and the thing is, it's when people are able to be transparent, and people can see, wow, they're doing this, 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 but they deal with that too. The thing is, I deal with this. I allow myself to go through, so I can come out. And you know, a lot of times people say, "Well, how is it that you?" Um, you, you you speak up so much against mm -hmm. uh, you know with with mental illness and you do what you do because yeah. like I tell them all the time mm -hmm. all it takes is one situation one situation to put you in a downward mm -hmm. spiral mm -hmm. but it is so amazing yes. that if you are truly a kingdom citizen yes. and you are doing God's work mm -hmm. he will always put you in the place that you need to be at the time that you need to be to carry out what needs to be done and the reason that I say that, um, my story, my testimony is, mm -hmm. um, 
at 32. Wow. 32. Actually, I was 31. My husband was 32. I became a widow. Wow. At that time, my son was two. And never in my life would I have thought that that would be yes, my life. Your story, yes. Um, and at the time, like I said, I was over a drug and alcohol program. Mm -hmm. You know, I was working with the mentally ill. Mm -hmm. um, my husband was a pastor. Mm -hmm. Like we, like every, like life was just good, just amazing. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. nothing could go wrong. Wow. But just at the blink of an eye, my life changed. And in that life-changing situation, um, like I said, I am so grateful because, like I said, at the time, I was working, I was over a drug and alcohol program. And you remember earlier in the show, I said, I don't ever present to my people something that I wouldn't do to myself. Right, right, right. It was because I was doing mm -hmm. what I was doing mm -hmm. in my professional field. It saved me from what I was doing to myself in my wow. personal life. That is good. And what yeah. I mean by that, because mm -hmm. I didn't understand grief at mm -hmm. the time. So when I lost my husband, I didn't handle it well. Mm -hmm. I did not grieve appropriately. Mm -hmm. And not that there's a right or a wrong I way, understand. but mm -hmm. I was destructive yes. in my grief. Yes. And where I was the first lady, I was the counselor, I was I was everything responsible in everybody else's I say. Yeah. But in my own life, I was falling apart, mm. and I was self-destructing, and I didn't talk to anybody. And I, you're the therapist. You're supposed to know better. Mm. But I wasn't talking to mm. anybody because I wanted to uphold this image. You know, I wanted, yeah, I wanted yeah. people to yeah. be like, well, you know, if she can do it, I can mm -hmm. do it, too. Mm. And so what it turned me to, I started drinking. Wow. And that wasn't even my thing. Wow. But it was literally to the point wow. where wow. I would go home on the weekend, back to my hometown of Gaston, Alabama. Um, I would I would work Monday through Friday, pack my kid up. Mm. Friday, we was hitting the road. Wow. And I would drop him off with my parents, who were just, just guys, mm. and I love my parents. Mm. Um, but they would be like, well, we'll take care of the baby. You go on, you know, you just mm. go and relax, have yourself a good time. Wow. And the thing is, sometimes I would drink so much that I don't even know how I made it home. But all I can say is, but God. But God. And, you know, when I would mm. get home, I would go, get in the bed, go to sleep. I'd be like, oh, she's so tired. Mm. No, I was intoxicated. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. But God, again, but God. because one day I came to myself and I said, how can you leave people in their recovery? And you're struggling, too. And so for the first time in my life, I really saw what my people were going through. Wow. I saw how it was it. hard to go wow. go through it. And wow. so I can't I used to do this little activity and I know we're on time, but no, 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 I, good. I used yeah. to do this activity called Front Street. Mm. And when people, you know, if we knew that they weren't being honest, you know, in their recovery while we would take them down Front Street. So I put mm. the chair in the middle of the room. <laughs> and so this day they were like, Oh, Miss Jackson's gonna get somebody. Oh, who, who she done called? <laughs> and so everybody just looking around the room. Mm. And so when it came down to it, everybody sitting around. And I, I get it, and I said, see, girl, when I say awesome. you could have heard a rat wow. kiss on a cotton ball, that's, just, that's, that's how quiet it was wow. in the room. Wow. And I literally had to say to them, thank you guys for saving me from me. Oh, my goodness. Because wow. what I was putting in them. Because I have a servant's heart, I couldn't give it to them if I couldn't keep it for exactly. myself. Yeah. And so that was my awakening period. Mm. And so that's where being real to heal mm. came, came from. from. That's oh, where oh. going through so you can mm. come out came from. Mm. And so that's just been my walk throughout life, mm. you know. In order to come out of something, you got to go through it. It may hurt. Ooh, it may bend you, but it won't good. break you. you it may strong. cut you. It may make oh, you bleed, goodness. but you'll heal. Yes. And so it's just about, like mm. I say all the time, mm. just being real about it mm. so you can heal it. Yes. <laughs> it's so good today. Oh, my goodness. You know, we're going to take a quick break for just a minute, and we're going to come back because I want to know. But you did answer it somewhat. What motivates Rikita after this break? Believing for healing. I think it's 
me that I've been lying to about what I've been going through and putting all the blame on you. Then I pretend to fix it on my own, placing myself up on your throne. I did this to myself and by myself alone. And if I'm Life's been slowly falling under the weather. Lord knows that I'm praying and believing for healing. Said I'm praying. And believing. praying and believing for healing. Healing has come. We have the answers. Rakita has some answers. <laughs> that will strengthen you, heal you, and set you free. Because God put it in her. And she knows what to say and what to do. She's doing it every day that she steps in front of the people. Because they are her people. We know that now. The passion that she has. God has blessed her with so much passion to give to others. And it shows, y'all, in the sparkle in her eyes when she talks about <laughs> Her people is such a blessing, you know. But Rakita, we want to find out from you what motivates you. <laughs> well, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest. No, you are. <laughs> what motivates me is this being sitting to my left. Oh my gosh! I said, <laughs> can you get his picture? <laughs> He's so, right here doing the camera, y'all. What motivates <laughs> me is first of all. The, the wow. gifting that God gave me, but yes. the ability to be a mother. Oh, my goodness. And to awesome. be a mother of a son. Awesome. Awesome. Um, you know, he, as with any of our children, we have we have our situations, yes. we have our yes. struggles, yes. but he motivates me. Oh, my gosh. He motivates me because mm -hmm. I know that the strength that God gives me to walk, mm -hmm. as long as he can see me walking through it, mm -hmm. then he knows that he has a path that he yes. can follow. Awesome. Do I always get it right? No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Am I perfect in it? No. By no means. Mm -mm. But as long as he sees me going through yes. and coming out, yes. then I know I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. Oh, so, 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 so amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. That is so amazing. And I feel the same way. I feel, I feel the same way. You have something to say? Yes. yes. Everything's out there. What about you? Say that again. He said, we motivate each other. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> what? I, um, Wayne, uh, you get him on the camera. Uh, Radio Slide World. This, this is her son, Braylon. Braylon said, we motivate each other. <laughs> I love it. Radio World, it has been a pleasure serving you today. As Rakita said, we serve because we have the passion. We have the dedication. We're humble because God chose us to do this work. Any last words for the people before we leave? Remember, if you're going to speak on somebody, speak life. <laughs> That's it. That's awesome. it. That's you it. got any word for the people, Braylon? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell us all of that. Yeah, thank you, Braylon. Second Chances, Better Choices on Instagram. Um, and Second Chances, Better Choices Counseling Consulting Services on um, Facebook. Um, my website is secondchancesbetterchoices.com. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, gripes, complaints, concerns, hey, reach out because I got connections everywhere and I can connect you where you need to go. And Radio World, please if you have any comments that you need to get to Rikita, please leave them at the radio show. Um, get we'll, we'll, we'll give them to her, get them to her. Um, so feel free to always call in and let us know because we're here to serve. We thank you so much for joining us. And look, this is not the end because we have to have her back because we have to do some segments because this is so needed. 
Thank you, Rakita, for coming. Thank you, Braylon, for coming today. Because you all have spoken life, powerful life. So join us on next Saturday, every Saturday, from the time of 1030 a.m. to 11 o'clock a.m., where we will be speaking life the way that God gives us it to us. Have a wonderful day now. Bye-bye, Wayne. <laughs> Oh, yes. Peace out, y'all. Much love. Y'all stay easy and safe, okay? Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Let's not lose another person to a senseless death. Substance abuse, gang violence, suicide because of low self-esteem. The power of life and death is in the tongue. Speak life over yourself and those you love. That feel good music.